Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast for another huge T20 Cricket World Cup team by team preview. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. We've got Leo. He's always here. He's all, well, he's not going to be here for most of the T20 we've got, but thanks for coming, Leo. You're here. You're ready to do some more previews. It's sad times, isn't it, Stats Guy? It is. Aren't you guys sad? Uh, say no. yes, say yes. No, we've got Tom <laughs> can come in and uh, do your job, so it's all good. Yeah. Uh, we've also got Marcus Barzano. He's I'll up here. About. You'll I'm be like, here. Very I'm excited. Like, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm actually very keen for the Cricket World Cup. Yeah. More nations, more games. 20 teams. More yeah. What are you guys more keen for? The World Cup or the day I come back? <laughs> uh, wait, let me have a think about that one. The day you leave. The no! day you leave, yeah. The day you leave. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, Island. No, no. <laughs> Let's do it. Before we get into that, make sure you get us around us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, chuck us a subscribe, Road to 1000, all that stuff. Actually, check out uh, a video if you're a fan of Australia, India, Pakistan, England, New Zealand, South Africa, Afghanistan, West Indies, Sri Lanka, or Bangladesh. I got through them eventually. All single videos. Every, oh, oh, yeah, there's going to be videos. We're just doing a lot of content. We're doing a lot of content. We've gone through all those Woo! teams. A massive preview. <laughs> Mark is excited. First time we're going to start on this for the second team preview show, Ireland. Ireland, Ireland. lads. They didn't do too badly at some of the World Cups. Captain Paul Sterling, which I feel like he's been playing for about 30 years. He is an absolute icon of cricket. <laughs> he is an icon of he cricket. He literally <laughs> goes for it from ball one. He is a T20 yep. specialist and he's done actually really well at World Cups. Yep. Give us your best Conor McGregor impression. Uh, uh, do, you really, do you really Probably want that? I am swear. the fight game. You've got to wobble the arms or something. I don't know. Um, no one wants to hear that again. Yeah, you've got to walk, walk like Conor McGregor. That's sad. Uh, he's not playing for Ireland, mate. Ben oh, White sorry, is. Sorry. Ben White, oh, yeah. yeah he's not going to the Euros. He's, uh, uh, yeah, he's playing for Ireland in the Cricket World Cup. That's funny that they got the same name. <laughs> now, nah, Paul Sterling, I think, is going to yeah have a bit of an impact. How are they going to go, Ireland lads? Yeah, bit of a prediction. Not great. No? Um, mm. One player, well, actually, I've got two players that excited to look out for. Josh Little, left arm bowler. He was really good he's against England, actually. He's yes. IPL, actually. And IPL, And yeah. Curtis Camphay, he's an all-rounder, I believe. Mm -hmm. Destructive with the bat. Those are two I'm keen on. Bal Burney's good too, but I'm not expecting too much from them. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't have the depth. You've got Paul Sterling, what is the average? 28 runs, 140 strike in rate. In a tough in group with uh, Pakistan and India, I think. Well, they, they did beat Pakistan in a 2020 game. They did. Uh, yeah, but Can they come not too long no. ago? Pass mark is to beat Canada and USA. That's yeah. the pass mark. Yep, I agree. I think they could easily beat those two teams. Well, they but, should. But US yeah. haven't been too bad form, which we will get into. So Ireland, decent decent batting lineup. Got a decent ball in Josh Little, but yeah, it's very hard when you have to come up against India or Pakistan. You know what? They've jumped up to 11th in the 2020 rankings. Really? Which is higher than I thought they and were. they're the 11th team we're talking about. That's great structured planning. <laughs> yeah. You're going to miss we're... that when I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asset. Anyway, can <laughs> you? Oh, you're an asset. Oh, you're, you're, you go, all right. All right. Scotland. <laughs> well, the first, yeah, the first half of that word, right? Uh, Scotland 12th in the no. uh, rankings. Zimbabwe! <laughs> 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 we're not talking well, about Zimbabwe. Scotland were 12th. They've just dropped down. Oh, <laughs> Let's anyway, keep it moving. Scotland, uh, my uh, hometown. No, home, home. You have to do home this land. part in a Scottish hometown. accent. I'm not doing a Scottish oh, accent. No more. You said accents. you would before the yeah, show. Yeah, you did actually. Nah. That's your forfeit for the KKR Sunrise. Yeah. Game. Oh no. How about not? Captain Richie Barrington. Uh, Leo and I have talked about him before. Yeah. He, yeah. You you were like I think I was like I think it's Richard Barrington. You're like nah, oh, it's Richie. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we were he, just saying about his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, He's genuinely a good player. I, I yeah, remember no, watching he him. He is, he is. Scotland and Namibia both made it out of the group stage in uh, the last T20 World Cup during lockdown. I remember supporting a bit of Scotland. Uh, that was really good. Not He's a really good batter. Sun. But yeah, I don't think they're going to go to well. England and Australia who will finish first and second. Yeah. Sadly. They've got a lot of new names they, that I haven't seen before mm. in this team. So I don't know how well How many Scottish go. cricket oh, players there? <laughs> no, like you, you see someone and you're like, oh, I know the name of yeah, that. Yeah. There's, a, there's a few players here that like Jack Jarvis, like... I thought like, they had Brendan McCullum, for example, but now they've. they've Brandon got, McMullen? Brandon McMullen. <laughs> Brandon McMullen. <laughs> that's ball like, from Wish. Oh, yeah. Charlie, <laughs> Te Charlie Tia or Tear, however you say. Chris Sol. Like, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of names we don't know. Ollie Hares. Like, I feel like they've just listed, like, people <laughs> that go to the local guy. Rabbits. Maybe, yeah. Rabbits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, Richie Barrington, I think he's going to have to. He's an opening opening batter. He's done really well at World Cups. I think he's going to have to carry the load. They don't have enough depth here. Yeah. And a lot of guys in their first World Cup. So. I yeah. think I think their pass mark is to beat the other two nations. Yeah. Namibia yeah. and Oman. Correct. I think they, and I think they, I think can. they can. They, they have experience. Can they experience challenge the Australia or England? That's the same with Ireland. Can they probably a pass mark is to maybe challenge Ireland? Ireland can two definitely teams. challenge Pakistan because they beat them yeah. last week. Can Scotland challenge England? Probably not, unfortunately. Oh, I don't think so. I feel like they could, but 
Pass mark would be to challenge one of those. Finish sides. third. Okay. In the group. Third, yeah. Okay. Third. Yeah. That's not too bad. All right. Next one we're going to talk about Netherlands. Netherlands. They actually mm. are a pretty exciting team. They've got, uh, they have are Baz they? the lead. I, I like their team. When they come mm. up, they, they beat England a couple of years ago in a match. Scott Edwards, who's actually yep. an Aussie that uh, has uh, relatives from he Netherlands. He plays so. for Richmond, doesn't he, in Premier Cricket? I think so. Yeah. 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 The long, the long locks. He played in no, the. No, I think he, he's got short I'm, hair. Who am I thinking of? Don't know, mate. <laughs> has, he, has he played any higher level than Premier? He has, he played, uh, he played he, yeah, yeah, he was on the Renegades team, mm. like okay. their squad. I don't know if he played. Yeah, though. so he's their captain. He's pretty excited. Baz the lead. I just remember talking about a lot of this team, yeah, the last World Cup, because there was a few upsets. Yep. They, they actually have some guys that play in the big tournaments across the world. The lead, uh, Van Beek, Logan Van Beek was really a good bowler as well. I don't mind Paul Van Meeker, and he's a quick bowler. Yep. He's a bit erratic, but he can like rip through a few batsmen. Yeah. That mm. Also, my favorite name in the whole tournament, the Pringle. Tim Pringle. Tim Pringle. Yeah, <laughs> Tim Pringle. <laughs> what about, what about Viv Tingma? What was that? Viv, Viv, Viv Kingma. Well, Viv Kingma, the king. Is. Yeah, Viv, <laughs> well, his, his name's Vivian Kingma. Still Viv Kingma. Uh, but Viv, Viv Kingma, he, he, got, he dominated in Scotland, actually, in one of their most recent games. Is he a battle Ooh, took Four for 21. Four for 21. What is he three overs? You know? Marcus with the Netherlands cricket knowledge. He just He just bowls rockets. Features. <laughs> Every yeah. ball is just on the stuff, so it's going to get him out. What pass do you reckon? Mark. Pass mark for Netherlands. What, have, let's have a look at their group quickly. Pass mark is to finish above Bangladesh. What um, pace is your answer there to your question? Go. There you go. Thank you, Marcus. Um, yeah, we're going to say- I reckon finish third in their group. Oh, it's tough though. They can do it. Because they've got South Africa, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh are probably the three Oh yeah, third for sure. Yeah. But Bangladesh they, could even, they could even- They're not beating Sri Lanka though. Not on my They could, they could <laughs> even- as a dark horse, progress out of this group. Oh, take the holiday. That's, yeah. the, that's, <laughs> the, that's, the, bold, holiday, that's the bold prediction. Okay, oh, they can be. That's Bangladesh. worse than my Sri Lanka one. Surely, please. No, no it's not. Okay. <laughs> they, they could though. Please. Netherlands will beat Nepal. Yeah, they've they, they will, but they've shown will that they can beat Bangladesh because Bangladesh. Yep, just lost so that's America. third. That's third. And. Sri yeah. Lanka, you never know what's happening with them. Nah, Sri Lanka we know what's up. happening with Sri Lanka this year. <laughs> the Sri Lanka guys are on the other video. You don't have to be so positive with them anymore. Uh, I can do what I like. Uh, yeah, you can actually. Uh, anyway, yeah, the, probably pass mark is push for that uh, second spot, mm. but they're probably going to finish third. third. Is a pass they've, only, they've only played 13 2020 matches as a nation, mm. and yet mm. they're 15th best in the world. You can look at That's other weird. nations around them. They've played 30 or 40 2020 games, okay. except for Scotland. There you go. So are they the best out of the lower tier Yeah, they're up there. Nations. In the Them in Scotland, yeah. I think, yeah. I would, I would, I would have Ireland above Scotland. Mm. Ireland would be up there. Cop that. I, I, don't, I don't care. It's all right. <laughs> uh, I'm a, you're I'm a you're Scotland fan. Yeah, I'm, yeah, semi-Scotland fan. All right, let's go on. That's enough for the Netherlands. Uh, the US. They yes. obviously brought in the MLC, almost at MLS, uh, last year. MLC. The MLC, the Major League Cricket. You got the unicorns running around. Finchie was captain in them. I can't remember all the other teams. <laughs> the weirdest names that they could yeah, ever think of. It was good fun. But it was great fun. New stadiums, the New York stadium just got finished a couple of weeks ago. There's probably all these Americans walking around like, what the hell is that? And just like walking around going, what if, I don't know why it's in an accent. There. New baseball stadium? New, yeah, is that a new baseball stadium? Baseball is crap. Watch some cricket, Americans. You'll absolutely love it. Uh, you're going to, I'm recruiting baseball, some Americans to the baseball, game. That's how you recruit Americans. Baseball, <laughs> <you go> baseball's <laughs> crap. I've been to actually a lot of baseball Baseball's games. originated from cricket. So Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Same with Jess. I might just be dribbling out of my behind. Yeah, no, I, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> that is not a saying. Because you dribble, you dribble. <laughs> it's verbal diarrhea. Right, That's that the, one, Gerald. I guess it's a time thing. We had an hour and a half with no Come swear, on. so we've done pretty well there. It's anyway, another saying for verbal diarrhea. Let's get into the US dribble. team. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> let's get on with it. Let's get on with it, lads. Let's get on. The first appearance, I think they've only really qualified for this because they're hosting. I, I don't yeah. want to yeah, talk ill of all We the don't really teams. know a lot about their team, except for- I wrote a lot of notes on them, except for Corey Anderson, standout are. player. He's played at uh, seven T20 World Cup games for New Zealand, batting average of 18 and bowling average of 29. So a bit he, of an all-rounder. He played every game in that 2015 ODI World Cup. Yes. And, and he's New been, Zealand he, lost to Australia, sucked in Brandon McCullum. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Uh, but he actually did pretty well. He's been a solid player for New Zealand, gotten yeah. a bit older. It's almost like he mm. got out of the New Zealand team and he's like, no, oh, this is too hard. I'm going to the US. Yeah, going to the US. Was, was he 33 or something like that? 33, now? yeah. He's played at the Hurricanes yep. in the Big Bash. Yep. Yeah, I think that he's was a decent player. Season. So he's yeah, definitely he's like, US's best player. He was a yeah. uh, vital part he's of He's a bit slow with the bat for someone that yep. bats down the order. He's yep. a, he needs a bit of time to get himself going. So do you mm. think for them to yeah, win a game or he win a couple of games? He should be batting four or three, yep. but he'll probably bat 
five or yep. something. Yeah. And Could there, he be a player that dominates against the other lesser nations in, yeah, uh, in America's group? Like Canada. Canada. Who else is in their group? Uh, Ireland. Ireland, yeah. And then India and Pakistan. But yeah. Yeah, US have a really good record against uh, Ireland, but then they were, uh, sorry, against Canada, but then they were smashed against Ireland, Zimbabwe, Sri Lanka, Nepal. Got close to the West Indies, but yeah, I don't think are giving too much hope. Still building. Uh, there's a lot of guys from the MLC that are playing in this that actually did play pretty well, but they're still building as a nation in cricket. Mm. So uh, yep. are they going to be last? Pass in markers group? to win a game. Pass markers to win a game? Yeah, I agree. All right. Yeah. Be Canada. That'd be good. Uh, Show thinking. something to the home Against crowd. Ireland. Yeah. First ever World Cup win would be awesome. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, next one. Canada. The Maple Leafers, what they call name. themselves. I've chucked in some nicknames. <laughs> So some of the lower nations, uh, ranked nations have nicknames, which I absolutely love. Just trying to hide the fact that maybe they're not that good. But <laughs> anyway, uh, Canada, uh, who we got? Who's their captain here? Saad bin Zafar. Zafar, yeah, Zafar. He's an absolute <laughs> jet. Everyone, everyone loves Zafar. Uh, first appearance as well, same as US. They, they've played a lot of games against the US and they uh, didn't win any of them. So I think they're going to be worse than the US and US will they get their first rank up. worse. I think What's Canada their ranking? 23rd? Yeah. 23rd. And the American, American ranked team in this. No. They might, who Oman? is? Oman, Oman, probably, yeah. Nepal, Uganda. Or, no, I think they are. Oh, you, they're with Uganda. With Uganda, okay. Interesting. There you go. So, Jersey. <laughs> Jersey, Jersey has a team. 20, 27th. Really? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Olivia behind Olivia's the camera will be happy about that. That is so random. That's yeah. it. Do they have enough people for that? <laughs> that is crazy. Anyway, uh, Canada, they've beaten Zimbabwe and Scotland, but lost four meetings to US in the build up, literally the last couple of months. Yeah. yeah. So the form is horrible, which is very sad. Extremely experienced in T20 cricket. They've played a lot of one days. Did beat Scotland though. They did beat Scotland. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Scotland. Yeah, and they actually knocked out Zimbabwe. And Leo was very excited oh, to watch Zimbabwe. I hate him. <laughs> yeah, I hate Canada now. <laughs> I hate him. My <laughs> beloved Zimbabwe. But yeah, Bin Safar. I think he'll be their standout player. Very experienced, uh, playing against uh, many levels of cricket nations. He's played, I think, all over the world. He was playing in some of the big tournaments, even. Uh, so pretty exciting player. But yeah, not enough depth. Pass mark to win a game. Pass mark to win a game. I think they might be last in their group. Yeah. I, I did say that about US, but US have been really good against Canada. So, mm. unfortunately for the uh, the Maple Leafers, Maple Leafers there. I almost said that a bit weird. <laughs> Next one, Namibia. I love Namibia. They were the excitement machine at a couple of World Cups ago. The Eagles. Uh, you got Erasmus as their captain. He's actually been a really consistent batter at World Cups. How, how do we think they're going to go, lads? They're going to win it all. No, they're not. No. <laughs> uh, David Weisser, ex-South African. Yes. He's, yeah. a, he's a really good cricketer. Yep. Uh, bats probably six or seven. Can bowl really Bowls as handy well. overs. Yep. He's their standout player, as you put down here. Yep. Stats guy, few all right players. You've got um, JJ Smith, who bowls yes. okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Like the names I've seen before, I don't know what they look like. I know they can do okay. <laughs> as Rasmus is a big boy, uh, like Rasmus, bombs. Yeah. He, he, he's fun to watch. He's a decent bowler as well. Decent bowler, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you've got uh, Zane Green, who I think is the keeper. Yep. Don't quote me on that. How do you um, know that? That's good. I remember this cricket knowledge. Not in the last game. No. But oh, good job, Lee. <laughs> but although it looks like Zane Green wasn't even in the squad. Yeah. Anyway, they made it through the uh, group stage, finished fifth in group two at the last World Cup in 2021. That was the big surprise, them and Scotland making mm -hmm. out of the group. Then you got Lofty Eaton is a massive out. He made the fastest ever T20 international century. I remember we talked about him on one of our yes. shows. Yeah, he did, yeah. But now he's out for dis disciplinary reasons. I can't say that word sometimes. So... He's a massive out and could, uh, yeah. could yeah. limit the, think, the big I scores. A pass mark is just, I don't know, sort of Let's be more the, competitive against bigger nations. To win think. a game. And just I think they could win a game against one of the, one of the big teams. To win a game, to win a game lower, you think? Lower teams, They'll yeah. beat Aman and I think they, they could beat, beat Aman and Scotland. So is, is Man, a pass I don't mark. think they'll beat Scotland, but they'll beat Aman. I think a pass mark is almost third. third. Yeah, they were really. They have nine players that played the nah. last two twenty one. You know, reckon? No. Nah. Pass mark is to win a game. Yeah, I think Lofty Aiton's a big out. So fair enough. Next one, we've done the maybe up Nepal. We don't know a lot about Nepal. We don't know too much about Nepal. I've written about their captain. He's the standout player in this one, Rohit Padal. Made centuries against West Indies A team, so their their second okay. team that they sent over. Not so bad. and Omar. So at least mm. he's some players teams that he's going to come up against. He has form. Uh, their captain, but a lot of the other guys are. I'm pretty sure most of their team. This is their first World Cup. Yeah, it's, a bit look, of a it's not great. They uh, most recently lost to Hong Kong. Yeah. They had a bit of a surge, oh, I'd say, five years ago, and then lost a lot of yeah. players and things like yeah. that. Yeah. So, is their pass mark just to have fun? <laughs> just to have fun. Just be there. Just do yeah, some. Just, they have a few bowls that do some flips. When they get not vibes. necessarily win a game, but maybe just like scare a team. You know, they're in. <laughs> they're with Netherlands and Bangladesh. Yeah. Just scare Bangladesh. Yeah. Give them a little fright. Yeah. You know? Although they did well, absolutely wallop Papua New Guinea, but then they did the same to Papua them. Papua New Guinea are in ago. their group. I know, but that, like, I'm talking about like other oh, nations like around, around their around their level. Around their mark. Yeah, so saying pass mark, <laughs> have, have fun. fun. No, pass, 
Oh, no, have fun. Why not? Like, they, so we're saying they can't get. Are one we win. saying oh, Nepal didn't win a game? They suck. They don't. They don't. Part. Like, no, they let them have fun. They're in the World Cup. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, that... Kushel Batel. What? Actually, um, he's a good bowler what? for them. <laughs> Spin bowler. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kushel Batel. Yeah, yeah. He bowls at a decent economy rate and. Okay, Actually, he's handy with some wickets. So they go Batal and Patel. He's a big Nepal fan. Yeah. Non-negative lockdown knowledge. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well, mate. Yeah, good chat. Uh, uh, I'm not a COVID kid. I'm a anyway, kid. we'll go uh, quickly on to Aman. Uh, if you want to check out some of our socials and TikTok, uh, we actually somehow had Aman, Aman ranked second in the uh, teams. Remember that? When was we, it oh, that high? Yeah, it was second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it might have been an accident. First uh, stage one win. <laughs> they, they actually played in the 2021 World Cup. They got one win. Yep. So that's that's a good effort. They've got a World Cup win compared to some of these other teams. Uh, experience with eight players from T20 uh, well, yeah, World Cups and things like that. So beating Namibia. Oh, my God. Namibia. <laughs> <laughs> They've beaten Namibia, PNG, <laughs> and UAA with multiple times in qualifiers. <laughs> so they're better than some of these other teams, but yeah. they, can, they might struggle as well. How do we reckon they're going to go? Like, Same pass yeah. mark as Nepal. One win? One win. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> really? Have fun. They've they're got not, a win in a World Cup They're before, not though. beating Scotland or Namibia. They're not? They're Probably not. not. Have I'll fun. Like, yeah. Scare them. They've got Ilyas, Ayub Ilyas, uh, new skipper yeah. for 2024. There's a lot of articles, surprisingly, about this uh, Aman team talking about Ilyas. They're like, new skipper, he just come in, can mm. bowl both offies and leggies. So there you go. That'll be a bit of fun watching someone change. Is there change. a player that can bowl right arm and left arm? I used to play in a team with a guy that could do oh, that. I meant in this tournament. But no, he didn't really make Didn't really want the anecdote. <laughs> That's fine. He was from South Africa. <laughs> Africa Ilya, Ilya Ilyas got team. three for 14 or four overs. Not too long. He's a jet. Yeah, he, three and a half. He's really good. So. I think he'll be one to watch, but again, the, I think it comes down to batting depth. A lot of these teams, a lot of these teams have decent spinners, decent pace balls, but the batting depth to make a big score yeah, over yeah. 150, 200. When they're playing yeah. against like the best bowlers, yeah, I think we're speaking too long on them. Speaking too long on them? Oh, poor. Oh, sorry to come fans out there. No, there's a few fans out there, but yeah, pass mark, get a win. Try and, uh, yeah, have, fun. To me. Have, have, have a bit of fun. Have fun. fun. Have fun. Yeah. All right. There we go. Have fun. All right. Next one. Another great nickname. The Barramundis. Have fun. Move on. No. <laughs> Papua New Guinea. <laughs> We've got to talk about it a bit. Oh. There actually is people that follow. Uh, John Corico. What a name. That is the that standout is player. Best name, I reckon. This nah, Tim Pringle. I'm, nah, I'm not Pringle. I like, because you can say Carico funny. Yeah, Carico with the wicket. Yeah, left arm orthodox. Dominated. Sounds a bit of like a tequila vibe. Tequila. <laughs> Carico <laughs> with some, yeah, uh, Dominated the under-19 World Cup, Carico, in the West Indies. So there you go. He's, he's played in the West Indies before in 2022. Has a five for against Uganda. Nice. Which, uh, he's, he's got a yeah, decent decent team. They've also got a bit of experience. They had 10 players uh, from their 2021 team. So, yeah, pretty pretty solid. But Can they beat Uganda? We're going to talk about Uganda in a sec, but they're in the I same think so. group. They've got guys that have played against Uganda under 19 level. Should we dominated. have a bet on who wins in those games? Uh, yeah, right. I reckon. Oh, well, let's, we need to talk about Uganda. We'll, well, we we'll we are going to have a tipping competition throughout the world. Yes, oh, we are. Yes. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to forget about that. No, you don't have to do that. You'll be. <laughs> oh, thank God. You'll be. You'll be overseas. <laughs> but we'll, yeah, we'll have a tipping competition. Yeah, we'll have a double. I think I'll. I would tip. Yeah, Papua New Guinea over Uganda. We'll get into that. But yeah, pretty experienced. Unbeaten in six qualifier games. PNG much more prepared than the last World Cup. I read an article that they hardly even had a team together for the last World mm. Cup. So I don't, got no idea how they qualified. Now a bit more experienced, but yeah. Just try and get a win, I think, is the uh, aim. It's a lot tougher this year with the group. So is that what we're going for? Have a bit of fun as well, Leo? Have a bit of fun. 100%, but yeah, Uganda's the only game that they can win really, isn't it? I'm going to back in Papua New Guinea over Uganda because I like the Barramundis better than the Cricket Cranes. <laughs> no, nah, I'm going Uganda. About the, talking about the Cricket Cranes, that is their nickname, Uganda. What the hell is it's that? It's a good nickname, but I like Cricket the Barramundis better. Is that a lie? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more aggressive, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more. The Cricket the, Cranes, what does that mean? The cr I don't know. At least it's cricket related. Barramundis, it's just fun. <laughs> and might yeah. as well just, isn't cricket, they like, love cricket in Papua New Guinea because of the English. I think they all love uh, cricket. Well, I guess that's, no, their main that's sport, their main sport is um, really. rugby. I've been over there, played a, played a bit of rugby. rugby been over? Rugby. You oh, played rugby? local. Well, I, went, I did the, I did the Koda, Koda, Koda Trek. <laughs> that's <laughs> another, that's another that's podcast. That's, that's my uh, life podcast that's coming out Walking with Stascalo. Yeah, no, it was, yeah, a lot more than walking. Anyway, trying to, anyway, that's another. Whoa, what'd you get up to then? That's not what I meant. You always have to make it weird. You have to make that very weird. Anyway, the Cricket Cranes, everyone's talking about them. Uganda beat South Africa and Zimbabwe in the African qualifier. No, okay. I looked at the South Africa team. Definitely going for Papua New Guinea. Leo, I looked at the South Africa they beat Zimbabwe. I don't care about South Africa. They beat South Africa, who, who you said are a top four team. Uganda are the lowest ranked team. They beat South <laughs> they Africa. They beat my beloved Zimbabwe. I'm <laughs> going for Papua New Guinea. They also, you guys, are, I just found weird stats. I love, I'll, as I uh, <laughs> as I should find some more weird stats. They've got the oldest player in the tournament. Uh, Subuga, 
Is that 43. Uh, nice. well, I'm just going to say Sabuga. No, I like it. Frank, <laughs> Frank Sabuga, 43. He competed in an ICC trophy event in 1997, which is before all of us were born. Well, yeah, when were you born? 1998. So he, this guy has been playing in world cricket since 1997, and he's still going, and he's- uh, That's a credit to that's, him. He loves the game. So get around this- uh, He this, is the cricket crane. He is the cricket yep. crane, maybe. Yeah. yeah, maybe he is. How's he not skipper? Come on then. I know, I know he's been around for so long. Masaba's the skipper. You got uh, Alpesh Ramjami, spin bowling all rounder, nominated for T20 International Cricket of the Year in 2023. Mm -hmm. Which, so you can have a few, di few yeah, different players yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that high. I can't get as high as you doing I'm a scout. I'm, I'm on the back of Roger. <laughs> Roger? Yep. Why? Because that's my dad's name. <laughs> so, uh, okay, Uganda versus Papua New Guinea. Yeah. The pass mark is for both of these teams to win that. To beat each other, yeah. Yep. Mine is Papua New Guinea win. Yep. You're going Uganda? Yeah. I'm got yeah, Barramundi's is way better, I think, as well. And I'll, I've got a soft spot for Papua New Guinea. Yeah, that, so that, that can be a forfeit. Mainly for just you. How good is their flag, though? As a, the actual just nation what, Uganda? Flag. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. decent. No, Papua New Guinea's flag. There's a crane well. on the flag. That's why it's cricket cranes. There is. There is. That is a great call. Anyway, so yeah. there, we're going to say that's the pass mark. Try and get a win. A lot of these teams are going for their first World Cup wins yep. as well. So it'll be really interesting to see how they go. And I'm telling you, there's a few arounders from all these sides that, will, telling uh, us. that will surprise you. <laughs> Oof. All right. I'm calling all it. Right. Keep an eye out. I'm calling it there. That's Stumps for the Cricket Today Stumps. Show. We've gone through every single World Cup team now across two videos. So make sure. If your country wasn't on this video, make sure you check out our other one. Get right around the show. Send in any questions. A third video is coming out as well. A third video with Tournament of Predictions. Third video. Another Ooh. one. There's going to be videos galore. We, that's all we do here. Marcus is very excited. Thank you very much, Joe, behind the camera and everyone else. Uh, that I'm not going to give you another shout out. That's enough. Thanks to me. That's another episode of Cricket Today. Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.